Hello, people. It is a beautiful Sunday morning, and I wanted to quickly share an experience I had last night with all of you, whoever all of you are. But last night I went out to Newburyport, Massachusetts, which is a place. I've been going this summer to street perform, and, you know, I'm appreciated down there. I actually went down with a, a jazz setup, we had an upright bass, a drummer, and a sax player, and I played guitar, and it was pretty cool, but I'm not here to talk about music right now. Um, while we were setting up, um, I I was like the first one to kind of get my my stuff out, and so I was just sort of warming up, playing chord solos um, with my case out in front while the drummer set up his stuff, and our bass player got his bass together and everything. And so yeah, I was just getting the music going, just letting people know, hey. Hang around, there's going to be music soon. So, while I was just playing some chord solo, this pretty young lady sat down on a bench about maybe 10 feet away from me, and she just s sat quietly with her eyes closed, with her eyes closed in like this concentrated like meditative state almost and she was, you could tell she was just taking in her whole surroundings um, my music for my guitar in particular and in the middle of one of these chord solo songs I was playing. She kind she came up and was like, "Hey, I got to I got to talk to you real quick." She introduced herself and she's like, "Man, I really I really think it's cool that you're you're playing music out here and I just want to share this vision I had with you while while you're playing. I saw all these doors opening up and these old ones closing and she goes on to tell me that she thinks um, that that vision was for me and that there were things from my past which uh, don't need to be pertinent anymore or I guess a better way of putting it would be they don't need to um, be affecting affecting me in a in a controlling way like I am not that anymore I can go past it let it go and look forward to the the new ones opening and so um, so that was like the first thing she said to me um, and somewhere um, in her explanation she went on to say that Jesus gave her this this vision and that God had positive things for me. She just said that she got this this vague feeling that things were moving forward in an optimistic way for me. And then she went on to ask me, you know, um, is music, is this just a hobby or is this what you want to do uh, more seriously? And then I, I told her, yeah, I mean, um, I'm I'm working at making a career with this. And I told her how I'm going to teach, I'm starting to teach music lessons to start make, seeing if I can make money or see if it's possible to make money and whether or not I'd enjoy it. And she's like, oh, can I, can I pray for you about that? And so I was like, yeah, sure. And she came over and she put her hand on my shoulder and um, she said a prayer just thanking God 
about or thanking God for um, this positive vibe she received and thank him for allowing her to share it with me and also wishing me success in my musical endeavors my ability to make it a lucrative process and so it's probably like five minutes this encounter and and then she pretty much like we I said thank you for, for that um, you are you inspired me and then we pretty much just parted ways but now I think five years ago if that happened which it wouldn't have because five years ago I wasn't playing out on the street I was pretty much just more staying to myself not really sharing things to the level that I am trying to today but if it were I don't think I would have been able to get something positive or even get something as positive I probably would have would have felt this girl's sincerity but at the same time I would have been skeptical and almost probably would have felt sorry for her because back about five four or five years ago I was I considered myself such a strong atheist and I was a person who came from um, such a strong place of belief in this thing called God a literal more superficial belief in this literal thing called God which was often thought in the less sophisticated sense to be a person an um, omniscient omnipotent or more more so omniscient anthropomorphic being that, that resides in the sky somewhere now I don't doubt that that lady who came up to me and said that probably has a literal interpretation and thinks of the Bible as her sort of guide through the universe that she takes very literally and very seriously. But then at the same time, I didn't make that assumption in the moment because I felt that that would have taken away me judging her like that. But at the same time, the reason I was able to get something positive and feel her sincerity now is because I don't I don't defy myself and and cling so strongly um, and associate with my identity this refusal of religion. Um, I would I, I feel I'm while I'm I'm not religious in the sense that I I prescribe to any religious creed at all. I do feel I am somewhat spiritual and since I've come to a place where I understand and feel the incredibly profound and deep and hard to grasp concept of God for me in a way I understand I was sort of I was able to feel her sincerity and even though we were probably on a different level of intellectually understanding it that didn't take away from the experience and what I want to leave you with is a lot of people see religion as being this negative thing in today's world that and it doesn't belong in today's world anymore so we've sort of grown out of it and whether or not that's true is a topic for a whole nother video but I've never encountered someone some random person in public who just came up to me and shared such a genuine positivity and optimism and even though I might not have 
really gotten along with this person if I um, really tried and underst try if I really tried to understand her more. Like I would have had to like to have uh, a bigger conver or longer conversation to try and understand where she's coming from with all this Jesus stuff. Um, but. You know, that doesn't take away from the experience, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And I guess it doesn't matter necessarily what she believes. I mean, yeah, I still have a, a certain amount of skepticism, a small amount of not being sure about where she's coming from just because... You know, I always feel weird when someone's trying to sell me a point, whether it be a capitalist saying, oh, you need college, it's for you. Or a religious person coming up and telling me, do you have Jesus? You need Jesus. But I didn't feel she was trying to sell me it at all. She was just telling me her direct experience with this thing she calls Jesus, but... Anyway, it was interesting. I'm going to go eat some breakfast.